Okay, I just came from Best Buy and I bought the iPad Pro 11 inch and I bought the Mac Mini. We're gonna be reviewing these two products here. Next week we're gonna be reviewing the MacBook uh, Air. But the, right now what we're gonna see is what's the performance with the iPad Pro, if we can use it for video editing and for gaming, of course we're gonna use it for that. And uh, if I actually, I can replace my MacBook Pro 2016 with this thing or with this thing for video editing in Final Cut 4K raw footage, maybe maybe raw footage. Um, we're gonna do all the performance and see if, how the CPU is working compared with my MacBook Pro 2016, if it is a replacement. Also, this model is just eight gigabyte because I don't think I wanna spend more than $1,500 in a Mac mini. I just wanted to go with the eight gigabyte. If I need more gigs in the future, I just replace it and put a new one here. Apple is charging too much money just for changing the, the, the RAM on the, on the products. I think better to, in this case, that we can replace on this one, I will do it myself and it will save a lot. And today, videos is about the Mac Mini. So keep tuned for the video and let's get into this. So this is the setup that I already have for my, my workflow with my MacBook Pro. So for example here, I got uh, the PC uh, USB-C cable that goes to my DVI on the monitor. Here on the back, I have a hub with different uh, for my mouse, the USB, for my, my hard drive that I use for video editing. And I choose this monitor, this is a LG 4K 20 inches, 27 inches monitor, uh, HDR. And why I choose this monitor? Because they use the same density of pixel uh, that Apple use on their monitors. So remember LG, they built the, the new monitor just built for Apple using USB-C type port. And they have this monitor here. I would say the performance, I mean, the. The, the density between pixels on the letters when you read it everything it looks really really good when you are video editing or when you are photo or you are editing photos or something like that this is what I got here now I will try to let's put this thing here in somewhere because my my, my option that I would like this is to put it here maybe connect everything and just work like that and take my MacBook, maybe maybe I will sell it, or it's, if it's better, of course, and then, or, or just take it uh, and buy a small one to portability and use it. But my main thing here is will be get rid of this thing, uh, get the, I'm, the Mac mini, and when I, I'm gonna travel, I'm doing something, then I will get my iPad Pro, which I don't think so because I need to video edit, I need to do some video editing on the, on the go, and uh, the iPad Pro, it doesn't have yet a good application to do this, right? So let's uh, test it and see how the performance. So how we can see here, we get on the single core 5,233. On the multi-core, we get 20,403. This is the Core i5-8500B processor with six core and eight gigs RAM. We're gonna be recording all these tests with the cell phone on the screen in order not to use the power, any power on the, on the computer while we are testing. Sorry for the performance, but that will be better results.
with the Mark. Okay, fa final thought with the benchmark after the benchmark with the Mac Mini is the, we see a good performance compared with the old generation. Of course, have been a few years since they uh, they don't update the, the Mac Mini, and now do we see a better performance on the CPU, better performance on the GPU, Intel graphics, but it's still not so. Uh, it's an Intel graphics. It says integrated is not better than the AMD card that you get. For example, here in the Mac Pro, you get a 560 or a 5 or 455 in my case because it's a 2016, but it's still better than this Mac Mini uh, for video editing. I'm talking about because when you rendering, it's better times when they use this GPU instead of the CPU. Now, in terms of performance, the Mac Mini uh, perform actually better on the CPU, uh, for example, on the Heaven, Engine Heaven, compared with the MacBook. Uh, Pro 2016. But if we compare the Mac Mini compared with the normal uh, Core i5 8400 from a desktop computer like a PC, we see a slightly better performance on the Windows PC. So another important point here is the price. Uh, once uh, The first thing we need to know is that we are buying a machine which is compact and we are paying because of the Mac OS. We're not paying because the, the, the hardware will be better than the computer. Of course the PC uh, it will be even better but you are paying because of the Mac OS and the compact size of this computer. So we have to pay a premium price because of that, but it's too much, I think. Uh, for example, the price of this Mac Mini was $1,099 with, with taxes here in Florida, for example, is $66 for a total of $1,165 just for the Mac Mini. And we still need to buy, because it's not upgradable, so you cannot plug in the video card. We just need to buy, we still need to buy the, the external graphic card if we're going to do some video rendering or, or 3D model design, this kind of stuff. We're going to use the external GPU and the cheapest one that Apple is offering right now is $1,200, which I think is way too expensive. We can find different options online like Sonic Box, for example for like 300 and something, but you need to buy the GPU. So at the end, you're paying like a $600 more. If we calculate that, it would be in total $1,765 just for the 8 gigabyte and the Core i5 Mac mini. If you want to upgrade up to the 60 gigs of RAM, that would be even more. And uh, I bought this, this model because I think it's better just to swap the, the, the memory and put the new memory like 64 or 32 GX. It will be cheaper for you instead of you buy just from Apple. This configuration. One point to favor is that this Mac Mini is the best line uh, of Mac that I'm seeing right now because it's upgradable. You can change the memory and it's something that you cannot do on the Mac Pro, for example, right now they're doing or what they're doing, they're doing with the iMac Pro. So you cannot change. Uh, the memory size. Another thing to keep in mind is consider if you want to spend that kind of money on this computer or better you prefer to use the Windows PC. Windows PC right now you can use uh, of course Windows or you can use uh, Linux for different if you're a programmer or something but for video editing for playing games this kind of stuff you're gonna be need a Windows PC. Also we're gonna be doing in the next video we're gonna do in the, the same configuration we got here for the Mac mini uh, with the Windows PC we already have and we're going to install the Mac OS on it so we'll be hacking touch and then we're going to see the performance on them and uh, how they can save money. We are not uh, encouraging you to uh, install Mac OS on the Windows PC because it's not allowed but uh, we want to see the performance on different of this. Okay, so my thought is if you are a video editor and you like Final Cut and you really need Final Cut, you know uh, you don't want to try the DaVinci Resolve or you don't want to use Adobe Premiere because you don't, just don't like it I would say just go with the MacBook Pro. It would be a better option for you. Or just can go with the Mac Mini. That's that's a good option with. Right now, iMac that out of dated and the iMac Pro is too expensive. So that's my concern about this. I will test. I will test the Mac MacBook Air next week. But actually, I don't think that will be a good performance because the same. We're seeing just the Core i5 dual core, which is nothing right now. Uh, for uh, video editing, you need uh, a lot of multi cores CPU and. Also, the Mac Mini, the MacBook Air, they have just uh, Intel graphic integrated. So no AMD and no Nvidia, of course, from this MacBook. So no good performance in terms in terms of video editing or 3D modeling design. People that end in the field of deep learning, like we do uh, for, and in the company that I work for, you need to keep in mind that you need a deep learning. If you're working with the deep learning machines or you're working with 3D modeling, 
your best option right now is just go with the Windows PC because Apple is not offering this. All the software right now, like Octane Render, they're using the NVIDIA cards and uh, those NVIDIA cards, you're not gonna find it on the MacBook products. I have to say, I love macOS. I am an Apple fan for a lot of years. I bought the iMac Pro, I got the iPad Air, but right now I'm making some switches. I also use my Windows PC, I use Lina because Apple is not offering me all the things just in one package. I need to switch between computers in order to get that uh, up and running, all my, um, the, the things that I do, right? Yeah, like I said before, it's up to you. I think right now Apple products are going to too expensive for normal people. There is no entry level for people that want to get into the Mac OS like before. I think this Mac mini, it should start, like the Core i5 should start like $800, $900 and that will be something to consider in order to buy for a new uh, trying to get into the Mac OS. But if you are a Windows consumer and uh, you are thinking to build a, a computer for working, a video editing, but also for gaming, for sure the MacBook and uh, the Mac mini is not gonna be good for you. Okay, I hope you like this video. We're gonna be reviewing the next video. It's a comparison between the Mac mini and the Hacking Touch, the same configuration and see the performance and uh, check out all our videos is gonna be here. Check it out all this video for the incredible for another review with the RTX 2070 graphic card that we have, the Battlefield Legs game that we just received uh, today, we're gonna be testing it. Uh, like this video if you like, subscribe to the channel, activate the ring bell if you wanna see more videos like this, and I see you on the next video. Bye bye.